OK, in this section we're going to have a look at how we edit and proofread text. And we're going to be working with practice files in the Chapter 2 folder. So if you can open the Chapter 2 folder and open the brochure file. First of all, let's have a look at how we can select text. Let's say we want to select this word purchase in the second, uh, first sentence of the second paragraph. If we double click anywhere in that word, then that word is selected. If we want to select the second sentence, if we hold down the control key and click once, that whole sentence is selected. We can also select an entire paragraph by either treble clicking in that paragraph or double clicking off to the side of that paragraph on the left hand side. So there are lots of ways of being able to easily select text. Now let's say we want to move this text to the end of the document. Now we want to use the cut, copy and paste controls here. Now we can see on the home tab uh, on the left hand side we have the cut, copy and paste controls. So let's say we want to cut it because we want to move it. So press the scissors to cut that text and you'll see it's now disappeared. Now the paste button um, is not greyed out anymore because there is some text there that we can paste. So we'll go to the end of the document and we can press the paste button and now that uh, text has been pasted. Now there are different paste options and let's have a look. Just below the paste button there's a little down arrow and this will give us different options here. There's an option to keep the source formatting there is an option to merge the formatting of uh, the paragraph into uh, the formatting in that current part of the uh, document and there's an option just to keep the text and ignore any formatting. And as you roll over these you can see that it's giving you a live preview in the document of what you'll actually get um, when you choose each particular option. More to the point, where it says clipboard, there's a, a little arrow in the bottom right corner of this section. And you'll see on the ribbon, lots of sections have got these. And clicking this arrow will bring up more options. Here, it's brought up the clipboard options. And this will show us everything that there is on the clipboard. For instance, let's say we want to uh, select this paragraph here, this first paragraph, and copy it we can now see that that paragraph has been added to the clipboard. So how can we use this? Well let's say we go to the end of the document and we want to paste in one of these paragraphs from uh, the clipboard. So we can click on it and we can select paste and straight away that's uh, inserted down there. You'll also see that when we pasted something a little tooltip uh, has appeared here with paste options and this can be useful if you want to paste something in multiple times. So that's how we uh, cut, copy and paste uh, uh, text within Word 2010 and in the next uh, segment we're going to look at finding and replacing text in a document. Okay, let's look at uh, carry on looking how we can edit text by looking at how we can find and replace text in a document. Again, we're going to be working with the chapter 2 sample files. So you need to open the chapter 2 folder and we want the rules regulations file. So I click open on that. Okay. Now, you'll see here on under the home tab on the far right of the ribbon there are options here for find and replace text. There you go, you see there. You can click Find Itself and a navigation uh, tab, uh, navigation pane appears here. Let's say we want to search for the word board in the text. Now, not only is the word board highlighted at every instance within the text here, you can see, but also each instance appears in this navigation panel and you can click on each instance and Word will take you straight to it and highlight it further and underline it so that you can see exactly the instance you're looking at. But there are even more options than this. 
Next to find on the uh, far right of the ribbon, there's a little down arrow. And here we have advanced find options. So let's, uh, let's open this. Now, here, uh, in exactly the same way, we can uh, search for uh, particular, uh, particular words. But there's a more button here, and if we click that, we get way more options. We can uh, match the upper or lower case of what it is we're typing, find whole words only. We can use wildcards. Uh, sounds like is uh, uh, a useful uh, a useful search term. Let's do uh, search for there, and it's finding uh, words similar to there. It's finding homophones, as in there, there, different spellings and words that sound the same. There's uh, an option to find all word forms. For instance, if you search for the word study, it would search for studies, studying, and uh, all the, the other forms of that word as well. There are uh, other options uh, here on the, on the right hand side, and you can also search for different types of formatting. So you can search for specific fonts, you can search for uh, language types, you can search for different uh, document styles. There's a, a great many different find options here. Again, you can search for special characters here. A tab character, a paragraph mark, paragraph character, and so on. Then we have the replace tab along the top. Let's say, for instance, we want to search for the word board again, and we want to replace it with company. So we have several options here. We can uh, replace all of the instances in the text, or we can just replace individual ones. So let's find the next one. We can choose to replace it. You'll see it's highlighted here in, in the text, and that's now been changed. Here uh, we have an, another one that it's automatically gone to. We'll change that. Let's say we don't want to change this third instance, so we'll click find next and if we want to do a blanket search and replace and change all the words of board with the words company click replace all and word will tell us how many instances were uh, were changed and it's changed here 60 instances of the word board so if we close this find and replace button we can see now that here if we search for company they're all uh, highlighted here and where there's been uh, a capital letter at the beginning of the word uh, that's automatically be, automatically been inserted and updated for us by the search and replace feature it's extremely useful again here we can move to any of these uh, searches within the document and it's very easy to find your way around now in the next segment we're going to look at how we can fine-tune the text that we write in Word 2010. Now that we've had a look at how we can find a replace text, let's have a look at how we can fine tune it and some of the things we can do with it. For this section, we're going to want the bamboo file from the Chapter 2 practice files. Now, if you go to the Review tab on the ribbon, you'll see on the left hand side a research button. If you click on this it'll bring up a research panel on the right side of the screen. Here we can do various things. We can search for uh, terms for translation, for dictionary or encyclopedia definitions, for thesaurus uh, uh, words as well so that we can find words that mean the same or words that mean the opposite. There's all sorts of things that we can we can do here. Let's say we want to uh, find uh, this word in a dictionary then it will give us the uh, meaning of this word in a dictionary. If we want to find it in a thesaurus it'll give us uh, similar and uh, opposite words here and down the bottom of the research panel you'll see here there's a link for research options so let's click on this and have a look here there are all sorts of uh, 
uh, additional options for the research panel that you can turn on should you want to, including internet searching and uh, all sorts of uh, all sorts of other features. So you can choose what it is you want to appear in the research panel. Click OK when you're when you're happy. So let's say we're uh, searching for uh, the word uh, wide here, which is the very first word uh, in this document in the thesaurus. Let's say we want to use varied. Well, we can uh, click on varied, and uh, if we click on it directly, it will uh, give us uh, change um, varied as the search term. But what we really want is to go back, click on the down arrow next to varied, and we can copy it, we can look it up, we want to insert it and we select insert and we can now see uh, that uh, the word varied has been inserted but it's been inserted in front of the word uh, wide um, because the word wide wasn't selected so if we remove the word varied and if we really want to change the word then if we insert it with that wide word selected you'll see it has now changed it so it's a difference here between uh, adding and overwriting the words uh, the words that you've got. Now you'll also see here a direct link to uh, the thesaurus which again brings up the, uh, the, th the thesaurus link in the research panel and next to that is a translate button. Now this can be uh, very interesting so we'll click the little down arrow uh, below it and we'll have a look at the options. First of all there's an option down the bottom here to choose the translation language and here we can choose the languages we want to translate uh, from and to. So we can say here that we want to translate to German for both the mini translator and the main translator and we'll look at the differences of these in a moment. So click OK when you're ready. Now if we click the down arrow again let's turn on the mini translator and have a look at how this works first this is really rather clever. If we select some text, let's say we select this, uh, these sentences, then we hover over them and you'll see a little uh, window, a little panel has appeared um, giving us translation, uh, a translation into our chosen language of that text. And there are things that we can do with it here, including we can copy it. If we select a different piece of text, then when we hover over that, again, the translator appears and gives us the translation for that text. We can also select, let's say, the whole paragraph, click on the down arrow and select Translate Selected Text from the ribbon, and you'll see here in the research panel uh, a translation then appears. But we can also translate an entire document if we want to, and you will need an active uh, internet connection for this click on the down arrow and click translate document. This will say it's going to send uh, information that's unencrypted um, over the internet so if it is a sensitive document you should uh, always use caution and uh, we'll see here that we have on the left hand side here we have our English document and on the right hand side we have the same document in German and as we hover over it uh, it's highlighting individual sentences and we can see the actual sentence um, as it is as it is translated in in the document and it's really a very useful feature um, uh, and there are all sorts of languages available to it but you do need an active internet connection for that so these are some of the ways that you can fine-tune your text and uh, in the next section we're going to look at how we can correct spelling and grammatical errors. Now that we've looked at fine-tuning text in Word, let's have a look at how we can correct spelling and grammar errors. For this, we want to open the letter practice file in the Chapter 2 folder. Now you'll see here that some of the words in this document are underlined with red lines and with green lines. Now red lines underlining a word uh, are there to tell us that uh, word thinks the word has been spelt incorrectly. A green line is there to let us know that incorrect grammar has been used. Now there are several ways to correct spelling and grammar. 
The first way is to go to the review tab on the ribbon and there is a spelling and grammar button and if we press this then it will highlight uh, each, of the, each of the words or each of the instances and it will give us suggestions for what we want to replace it with. So let's say we want to replace it with that because the, we missed a U out of the word so we'll change that one. Next one there is it's telling us that there is a double word it's giving an option to delete it. So we'll delete that. Now committed. Now let's say for instance that the word it's highlighting is a is a, a proper noun. It's the name of a person or a place and word doesn't recognize it. Well you can add it to the dictionary if you want or you can ignore it. Now we'll close this for now because I want to have a look at some of the other options. You can also right click on a word and it will bring up a uh, context menu in which it will show you alternatives to to that word. So we know that there's supposed to be two T's in this word so we can click on that and we can see the word has been changed. Again with this uh, grammar error we right click on that and it's just telling us here that uh, we need to drop the comma at the end of it so we can uh, we can click on that and you'll see the comma is removed. Now where we had a double two here, let's go and put that back in because we want to have a look at this as well. If we right click on that, it's not giving us an, an option for a word but it is saying we can delete the repeated word. So these are various options for using uh, spelling and grammar checker here. If we click on the uh, spelling and grammar uh, tool on the ribbon again it's telling us that the check is complete and it hasn't found anything. But you should always check your spelling and your grammar carefully. For instance the spell checker won't um, uh, won't uh, correct homophones or, or homonyms such as there, there, there and check and check and which and which where there are different spellings of a word that sound, that sound exactly the same. So it's going to miss those. Uh, also, it, uh, as I've said, it could try and correct n uh, names and proper nouns that it doesn't, it doesn't recognise. There's also, next to this, there is a word count button as well. You can click that, you might find this useful, to do word and character counts for your documents. And that will give you more information uh, about the text that you've written. In the next segment, we're going to have a look at how we can... Uh, save text and insert save text into our documents. Now that we've looked at how we can fine tune text and correct spelling and grabbing, grammar, let's have a, a look at how we can in save blocks of text and insert them into documents. Now we're going to want the bamboo file from the chapter 2 folder of the practice uh, files. Now you'll see here at the top of this text there's a header for wide, wide World Importers. Now if we highlight that by clicking at the beginning of it and dragging our mouse and uh, letting go of the mouse button when we get to the end, then uh, we can save this as a block of text that we can work with. Under the Insert tab on the ribbon we want to click on Quick Parts. Now this uh, menu gives us an option to save this selection to the Quick Part Gallery. Let's explain what this is. This saves it as a block of text which can then be inserted elsewhere in the document as and when we want to. We can give it a name. Let's call it Wide World Importers Header. And we want to save that to the Quick Parts Gallery and we can give it a description if we want and we can put it in, uh, create a different category for it. Uh, if we want as well, if we have an awful lot of these building blocks that we can want to save within words to use in other documents as well. So press OK when you're done. Now let's say we want to insert this at the end of the document so we'll scroll down to the very end of the document and if we click on quick parts again we'll see it's appeared here and if we want to insert it all we need to do is click on it and there it is and we can insert it as many times as we like. They're all organized in this thing called the Building Blocks Organizer which initially seems terribly complicated uh, because there are you know, literally hundreds of um, uh, building blocks here 
that have been uh, automatically created so that you can use them uh, whenever. For instance, uh, bibliography uh, you might find useful and uh, and uh, such. But what you can do is you've got four categories along the top: name, gallery, category, and template. And you can click on these to uh, sort the building blocks in various ways. We can see here that it's made it much easier to find this wide world importers header which it's giving us a preview of in the right hand side and we can delete it we can edit its properties or we can insert it into the text directly from here and that's useful if you have more than one quick part saved but uh, quick parts that you're using in the document should appear here uh, when you click on quick parts in the ribbon so that's how we can uh, save blocks of text and insert them into documents and in the next section uh, we're going to begin looking um, at how we change the look of text within Word.